to meet and greet your family and hopefully get her adopted soon. Yeah. All right, so we have here Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo is 105 pounds. Um, he obviously is not camera shy. He's taking over the conversation. But he was turned in by an owner. Um, and we are pretty impressed with um, Irish setter advocates all over the place because they have been in contact with us. We've had rescue organizations that have called us on his behalf just to make sure he's okay, which he is. Um, he is about a year old, so he's a puppy essentially. Um, he was turned to mine owner because they said they had moved and were not unable to provide him the same uh, space area that he was used to, that their yard was too small. Um, however, what we know about canines is that it really doesn't matter the space that you have. Uh, we've talked about it a lot. All of us have our own homes and apartments and so forth, and our personal dogs would much rather be right by our feet. So even if we were to offer them five acres, they would prefer to be with their owners. So in the case of Scooby-Doo, he's available for adoption. He's an example of the fact that our shelter is open admission. We get all sorts of breed, all sorts of species. We do not just get mutts, we don't just get pit bulls, we do get exotics, we get purebred animals. So Scooby-Doo is an, an Irish setter. Again, he's very young, he could use some basic manners, he's working on that, and maybe something to calm him down a little bit. Um, he is very vocal, but that's just part of who he is. So if you go, were going to adopt Scooby-Doo, you want to make sure that you accommodate for the training he needs, to pay him the attention he needs, and maybe to work off some of that juvenile puppy exercise. But again, Scooby-Doo is available for adoption. If you're interested in adopting him, you want to make sure you contact the shelter.